Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and we're talking about the third beta of iOS 13 that was released yesterday by Apple and I'm really loving this update. It's pretty amazing. The battery life seems to be better. The battery is not draining a lot like it did for me on iOS 13 beta 2. Now, of course, I had this less than 24 hours installed on my device, but I can notice that the battery life seems to be better. Also, it's buttery smooth, the animations, the multitasking, all that is really, really great. So now let's focus on the features. This update has really been packed with new features and changes. I believe there are more new changes and features on beta 3 than they were on beta 2. So here are 50 plus new features and changes on iOS 13 beta 3. Starting off with the files app. When you're playing media on the files app now you will get this new interface right here. You can see this is a totally new look right here on the files app when playing media. Also, if you want to delete a file right here, now you can see from the menu, the delete button now will be red instead of black that used to be before. Going to the photos app now, you will see the albums have changed. Now the recent album will be the first one on the photos app and it has switched places with the favorites album. Before this used to be up here and the recent were down here. Also on the new photos app, when you want to set an image as a wallpaper, you will get the same interface that you get on the settings app when setting a wallpaper. That's really great. Also, we have a new icon here at the add to album on the share menu, as well as you will have an Apple watch icon here on create a watch face. That's also new on the new photos app on iOS 13 beta 3. Also, if you go to options right there, now you will get all photos data. So if you want to include them, you can enable them right here and you will get all photos data right there before it used to be full original capture. Now it's all photos data. On the control center on beta 3, if you force touch on the camera, now you will get new icons here at take portrait and take portrait selfie. Also, if you go to the volume right there, this icon is way smaller also, these icons right here for the volume and for the brightness are now way darker. So they used to be like a light gray, now they are black. Also, when you tap the dots right here to go to more, now you will see manage messages list as well as we have some other changes right here. So if you tap and hold right here to go to more, you can see the delete button will be way bigger on beta 3. Also, if you go to the me emojis and you go to edit them, now you will have different options here. So if you hit cancel, you will have the option to discard the changes or keep editing from here. Beta 3 now allows you to edit Memojis even on third party apps. So even if you're on third party app, you can go ahead and still edit your Memoji from here. On iOS 13, you know Apple has introduced this cool new feature that allows us to take full screenshots of full like web pages like this. Now that will support other apps as well as long as they support this feature. Also, if we go right here to edit this screenshot, you can see the interface here will be much bigger that allows us to easier edit your screenshot. So that's really, really cool. And then also, if you go right here, you will see the opacity button right there. It has now a new icon. On Safari on iOS 13 beta 3, if you tap and hold one of the tabs, now it will show you this new menu right there. There are new features on Safari as well. So if you tap on the share button, now the PDF create PDF has been replaced with markup. So when you go there, it's still the same thing, but it has just been replaced with markup instead of create PDF. Also, if you go to the reader view right here, you will see a new icon right there for request desktop website. That's new as well. As well as if you go to the reader view, now you will see if you go there and you go to the fonts, now the fonts right here actually represent the actual font. So previously these used to be all the same font and now they basically represent what font have will they change once you select them on this menu also 3d touch seems to be a bit better on ios 13 beta 3 now on the control center it's actually fixed on the control center it works flawlessly just like it used to do before not the same on the home screen i don't know what apple is doing with 3d touch on ios 13 but on some places it works better, some places you just have that long press, but hopefully they will bring it back with the final release of iOS 13. 
There is also a new time limit screen, so once you open an app and you go to the time limit right here, you will see a new screen right there. Also, we have a change on the dictation icon right there. Now it's much bigger, it looks much better. Also, if you tap there, you will see that the keyboard icon is also a bit bigger, so that's a change as well. If you go to the shortcut app and you want to create a shortcut to basically launch one of your apps, you will see now a new view right here at the app. So this looks pretty, pretty awesome. A way better look here than it used to be before. There is a new splash screen for the notes app. Once you install iOS 13 beta 3 and you open the notes app, you will see this new splash screen. 3D touching on a note on beta 3 now you will see here the 3D touch menu also has the icons. Previously it had just the text, now it also features the icons. The mail app on beta 3 now has a new color here. When you go to archive one of your emails you can see that nice purple color that has been changed. As well as if you go on the app store on the arcade section right here now you will see these like previews of different games that are coming to iOS 13. So this is really, really awesome. You will see here a preview of the games that are coming, 100 and plus games. The Find My app now has a new section, the Me tab right there. On the right side, you will see a new tab once you open this app on beta 3. The Health app on iOS 13 beta 3 now has like a new design here on the Access Your Records. So you will see that icon right there has changed with beta 3. If you go to the privacy section on the settings app on beta 3, you will see now the motion and fitness section has a new icon which has totally been redesigned. On the settings app, you will also find a new check mark right there. So you can see the check mark looks a bit different. You will notice it if you just compare it with another beta like beta 2 or beta 1, you will notice the difference right there with the check mark on beta 3. On beta 3, if you go to the reminders section on the settings app, now you will find show reminders as overdue has changed to show as overdue and now has been placed down here. There is also a new feature, but unfortunately that's only exclusive to the new iPhone XS, XS Max and the XR. The feature is called FaceTime Attention. Basically, it will make you like your make you look like you're always looking straight into the camera even when you're looking to, on the screen of your iPhone while FaceTiming, of course. If you go to settings, you go to privacy and you go to location services, you go to system services, you will find right here a new button to improve maps. So you can enable it directly from here. The wallpaper text has also been fixed right here. Now this used to be cut off, now it looks all nice and clean. The volume slider on iOS 13 beta 3 has been fixed. Now this used to not come all the way up with beta 2, but now it's fixed and you can basically pull it all the way up. Also, while using the YouTube app, now you won't see any more two volume sliders. Now, there used to be a bug when you would see the volume slider of YouTube and the iOS at the same time, but now the iOS one won't appear, you will just see the YouTube volume slider. Something that was really bothering me with beta 1 and beta 2, of course, was that if you turned off the slide to type, it wouldn't go off at, at all. So, you can turn off the switch, but it will still do the same thing. Fortunately, that has been fixed now. If you try to turn it off, it will actually turn off. So you can see right here, it's off right now. Also, the search bar has been fixed on the settings app. Previously, it used just to show like some random icons, wouldn't even find anything that I searched for. Now it's fixed and it's working how it should. If you're using dark mode with beta 3, you will notice that anywhere where there are search bars like this one here on the app store or the settings app, they will be completely black. Now previously these used to have like a light gray background, but now they're completely black. Of course they work just like they used to do before, but now they look much more subtle right here. It's pretty basically it's pretty hard to even notice them right there, but you will see that text. So all black search bar everywhere on iOS. On the settings of the Safari app, now you will have a new option. So you will have right here, synthetic editing commands. You can enable that by going to settings, go to Safari advanced, and then go to experimental right here. You will find this new option. And here I have a few more new features and changes that I found on Reddit, on iOS beta on Reddit. So this is a new like interface when announcing messages with Siri for the AirPods. Also, we have right here 
a new icon for the copy and paste on the keyboard of the iPads on iPad OS 13. And this is from a user on Reddit that I found shortcuts has been using 45 locations so it will give you like these pop-ups that show you how much an app has been using your location that's really cool as well so if we go right here we'll see this is like a new feature on the find my app find my app so what it does is that it will send a notification to someone if you like create a notification for someone it will also notify them and we also have this one here so this user got like this notification from soundcloud and basically what this does is that automatically the notifications will ask you if you want to keep getting notifications from an app if you get a notification from that app but you have been getting them very rarely from that app then it will give you this option right here so that's really really cool also with beta 3 now it will show voice over lte right there that's really great and also on ipad os 13 now you will have the option to change the size of the cursor of course if you're using an mouse with your ipad pro so that's really really awesome so these are 50 plus new features and changes on ios 13 beta 3 this is a really awesome update i have really been loving this new update by apple it has been great for me beta 2 was not that good it was draining the battery like crazy so that's pretty much it for this video guys if you want to watch more ios 13 videos also, if you want to learn how you can get this beta on your device, make sure you check out the description of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one.